Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of the Let's Play the Dick with me Atraleo. Yeah, last time we were on our way to the red door because we got the rod with the code on it. So let's get there. I think we can get a little faster. Double click, double click. Okay, here no double click. That's fine. Let's see if we even end up there directly or if we have some other stop first. Who knows? Ah, looks like we're going back. Okay, since we got a nice video, I use this time for a short drink. This was some refreshing arm doodler. Not my favorite, but not bad from time to time. Okay, let's check out the red door. Is there anything else here actually? I don't think so. Nope. Not even here? Not even this? Nope. What happened here? Ah, we turned the power on. Ooh. When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor. There's a huge amount of energy flowing along this column. Okay. Red door. So what was it again? Can he just use it directly? It won't accomplish anything. I better look at the engraving to get the combination. If this is the right key for this door. Okay, okay. What do we have here? Blue. Pyramid. Red, green. And the green cube. These are the not so nice shapes. Not sure what exactly it should be. Now to the quick process of switching through all the things. Did I forget? Maybe. Let's check again. Check again. Red, green, green. This no, it's not. Is it? Ah, oh, it was simply this one. Okay. Red, green, green. Yep. Voila. Another tram station. Well, since they only go back and forth, even so, they have two sides to leave and exit. Maybe back there is just a parking lot. Okay, then let's just push the button and off we go. To the next island. <coughs> Sorry. Uh-oh. The other trams came as soon as I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere. Okay. I didn't see anything here. Ah, maybe that's the damaged one. Could we change them around, probably? Because I don't think anything is done here.
Yeah, because they have these blue controls in the center and one of them is dead. Simple thing would simply take one and put it, replace it with another one in there. But I'm curious now, since we have some power in there and also down here. I don't know if I can connect a cable to do, I don't know what with it. Museum tram. Okay, it got a name. Always attach the jumper cables to the dead battery first. Okay. Do we have a dead battery? Are you a dead battery? The crystal is too smooth for the wire to hold. There is no place to attach the wire. Okay. I might short out something. Yep, you might. There's no reason to tie these together. That's true. to the glowing plant is still around. You could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. Jumper keeper. It won't accomplish anything. Surprise. This does something? Who knows if this will even work? I don't know what this even is. Even if these really are the same crystals I saw resurrecting an alien in that museum display, they weren't designed for humans. Ah, okay. But it's worth a shot. Good, if you understood the pictures. You've been dead for several hours. That's not good for the brain. <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I assure you, Brink, no pulse, no breath, dead. But I found a couple of life crystals in a museum, and from a display there, I got an idea of how to use them. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me... to life. I feel more powerful, more energetic, more alive than I've ever felt before. Maggie? Do you read me? Yes, I do. I hope this is important. Nah. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Brink isn't dead anymore, Maggie. You have a very sick sense of humor. Goodbye. No, wait. I'm serious. Deadly serious. Brink! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. The display there showed it bringing someone back to life. So I tried it. A crystal that heals the dead. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. Now it's all the more important we find a way home. It's always kind of important to me. <laughs> Keep exploring, Boston. I'll get back to work on the language. You got it, Maggie. Well... You know, green is the color of zombies, so we just created a song. We have a Brink now. What can we do with him? Brink. Brink, Brink. Kios curious about this one. What do you think the chances are that scientists back on Earth will be able... ...to figure out these life crystals and make more? They have to, that's all. 
You have no idea how good it feels to have such strength surging through my body. And not just my body. My mind has never been so alert. We have to find more of these crystals if we can. More and more of them. I got this inscription from the museum. What do you think? I think that's Maggie's department. I don't want to be bothered with things like this. Okay. Keep your eyes open for any metal plates like the ones we found back on Attila. I think if we find the right ones, they may fit in a triangular alcove in the Nexus. And if they do fit, what would happen? I have no idea, Brink, but I still think it's worth searching for them. The ghost we saw that led us to that hole you fell through. I saw another one at the museum spire. A museum guide? Whatever these ghosts are, I think they're trying to lead us to something. Ah, but are they leading us somewhere we want to go? Do you think Maggie can learn an alien language? She's very intuitive. If she used a crystal, she could learn anything. You still feel okay, Brink? It's almost worth falling through holes on alien planets if you feel this good afterward. This place is as empty as an ancient ruin, but at the same time, almost everything is still in working order. I know what you mean. This must have been how the bear's house felt to Goldilocks. They just stepped away for a moment. They'll be back any time. Thanks. This artifact is very delicate. It looks like it may be useful as well as ornamental. Enough to make any ivory poacher envious. Okay, what well, else? Maybe this. A portion of skull from an alien creature. Hmm. So that's something for Maggie, okay? Robbins, this is Lowe. This is Robbins. Can you see this on your communicator screen? Some kind of inscription? Yep. I found this in the museum. Can you read it? It's not the same set of symbols I'm finding in the database here. I don't think it's designed for strangers to be able to read it. How could a crystal bring the dead back to life? I'm no expert on it, but I once talked to a forensic examiner, and she told me that even in the short time Brink was dead, irreparable damage happens to the body's cells. Especially the brain cells. He doesn't seem to have forgotten anything. Makes you wonder if maybe memories are stored somewhere else, and the brain is only the data retrieval system. What do you mean, stored somewhere else? Not even in the body. Think about it. I wish you could read this inscription. I keep thinking that it really matters. Give me a chance to get a handle on their language first. I'll give your inscriptions a try when I can. Maggie, I found a plate like the ones in the asteroid that triggered our journey here. For all we know, any plates we find might send us on a voyage to the opposite edge of the galaxy. Tell you what. I'll keep looking for more of them, and you decipher that language so we can read the directions. Great. You get to look for metal things lying around on the ground, while I have to decode a completely alien language without any information about how they think or what they might be writing about. Yeah, that's a fair division of labor. Still looking for more of these plates, Maggie. While you're at it, see if you can find a big, juicy steak. Or, I'm not fussy. A nice salad, or even a couple of grapes. There's no doubt about it, Maggie. These ghosts are trying to guide us. Well, I wish one of them would come here and help me translate these inscriptions. Brink is alive again. I can't believe it. I can't either. I sure hope he's the same person. Is everything still going okay? Any problems? 
You mean apart from people constantly interrupting my work? No. Frank sure seems happy now. I'm not surprised. I think most people prefer being alive to being dead. No, I mean he seems really happy. Well, stay close to him, Boston. I'm sure you can make him surly and miserable again, given enough time. Thanks. Okay. Hey, he comes with us. Um, where do we bring him? Maybe back to center. It's an open door. Non-working open door. Is there anything where it needs two of us? The museum... Maybe not. Hello, Brink? There he comes. Okay, dark tunnel. Here we come. Flashlight. Brink? Don't want to come? Brink. You still feel okay, Brink? It's almost worth falling through holes on alien planets if you feel this good afterward. Thanks. Okay. And he doesn't want to come. Frank, come to this side of the door. Okay. So I get him enough door. Hello, Brink. an energized crystal. It's where all the crystals meet. Can we do something here? It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. Can we take this out? Uh... It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. Can we take them out? I can't use these two things. It won't do anything. This crystal is this crystal is lifeless. I cannot take it. I want to take it. Three holes. That won't fit. I know. Hmm. I can't use these two things together. Da -da -da -da. It won't accomplish. It won't do any. It won't accomplish anything. Brink. Never mind. So I have Brink now with me. What can I do with him? I can get him to the museum. Might find it interesting. But he's not into the language. Brink. Nah, not Brink. Never mind. Not that I remember. 
maybe. Okay. That's new. when I turned on the power. It's radiating energy. Hmm. It's radiating energy. It won't do anything. What's that? Hmm. Brink. Never mind. Radiating energy. Is it point at me? It's pointing at me. Okay, let's leave here. I wanted to go to here and see if Brink has fun with that. Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Brink. Never mind. But here we didn't have anything, yes? I think so. There's a toolbox. Let's see if it helps if I bring Brink to the museum. Can I look at the sky once more? Those beams of light all focus on that central sphere. Show it the other way. Brink, get in. Now, today. Would you give me a hand with this? Sure. On three. One, two, three. More X. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? 
They look like it. Then it couldn't be more clear. These life crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. They have found the secret of life, and they want to share. Weren't you watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak, that ghost shaped itself like a skull. It was warning us, these crystals are dangerous. It was the symbol of death, Lo. These crystals are the antidote for death, that's what it meant. What if there are side effects? Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. If you had used a life crystal on yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. Brink, I think you're wrong. I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. They have given us a gift. Yeah? Well, if this is all so perfect, where are these aliens? Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Or maybe they're all dead. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How could they be dead? They invented these life crystals. Commander, I feel sorry for you. Still tied down by an ordinary mind and ordinary fears. But I feel too good to want to argue with you. Believe what you want. I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. Three? I'm sorry, I can't Well, carry. I'm gonna take some for study back on Earth. I'm just not gonna use them. But you will, Commander. Okay. Maybe I should take one more life crystal. How often can we do that? The more. I think we might be able to do it forever. They don't get more anyway. What's this? Canister. Okay. Look at it. A canister? Didn't I see a picture of something like this in one of the museum displays? You did? I have many crystals. Can we put a crystal in a canister? There is no reaction. I put a bracelet on the canister. This is too beautiful to destroy. Okay, so it destroys. I can't use these two things together. I don't want to destroy this. The canister destroys something. You can just... Okay. It's pointing at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. It won't accomplish anything. Brink. Brink, cut it, brink. Never mind. Exactly. Door. Life crystals. Door, 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 door. Brink. Nah, door and brink. Never mind. Okay. I'd say this is another half an hour, so another episode done. Let's try to get Brink to the museum next time. Maybe it helps, maybe he stays there. No idea. Because at the moment I don't know otherwise how to continue next, but hopefully it helps. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.